Okay, today we're going to go over the uh, belt grinder that I've been working on. Uh, you see we started out with a motor, a recycled motor. A friend of mine had this motor. It's a five horse, uh, three phase motor. Um, we actually fabricated all these steel parts here in shop. The wheels and all that I got here we got from uh, KMG Grinders and pretty much all the accessories um, that were fabricated they supplied or we bought from them. Um, what we got, we got a 8 inch contact wheel. This is our tracking wheel. Tracking knob over here to adjust the tracking. Uh, the uh, drive wheel, we're using a 6 inch drive wheel. Uh, and then we got a multi-step pulley that uh, we can adjust the speeds with. Um, anyway, turn it on and off right here. Got the 8 inch pulley on it right now for like the grinding blades and stuff. I like this is just a little uh, sample we're working on. Works pretty sweet, pretty easy. We can change out the tracking wheels fairly easy. You can like to do a 2 inch or 12, whatever you got. One nut here, this tracking wheel comes off. You put this one on. Uh, a couple other accessories we've done. We can take the belt off like that. Change this out. Pull this out. Set it down here in our holder. I built the uh, platen wheel set up here. I can slide in. Slide into my line, which I've predetermined. Now we've got a platen wheel, gives us a little bit of slack adjustment. Put your belt on, put it over top of the uh, drive wheel, the tracking wheel, and then over your platen. Pull down on your tracking lever like that. Spin the belt by hand a little bit, make sure that's going to stay on. Then you turn it on, always stand off to the side, just in case your belt wants to fly off. Now adjust your tracking. A little turn of the knob, get it centered on your wheel. So now you can see it's rolling on the platen. I can get a little bit of slack in this if I need it. There's a little uh, piece we're making right now, a little fixture I made to uh, hold these uh, pickets, so the center piece of the picket. so we can true these up and make them nice and round and smooth like the customer wants. Since we don't have a lathe yet, this is my kind of my homemade lathe. Anyway, so you can see how that slack in the belt. I can push in a little bit and contour to a curved surface. But now if I want a flat surface here, I'm going to go ahead and take the belt off so you can see this. I made this platen table up, little angle iron table, two three-eighths inch grade eight bolts. Screw it in. And then I take a 916 wrench. Tighten them down. See, we've got a nice platen table here, and grab our belt. Feed it over top of the platen wheels while pulling down on the tracking. Oops, there we go. Spin it a little bit, and again, stand off to the side when you start it up. That's just so if the belt falls off or plug flies off, it doesn't hit you. So now you see I've got a flat surface to grind something on here. So if I needed to grind this knife blade, I can grind it nice and smooth. Okay. Also, the other accessory, I made a table. This table's adjustable. Again, a 9 16 wrench. 
this table can adjust back and forth. Slides into a socket right there. I always give about oh, a sixteenth of an inch uh, space there. It's got a, again, a place to tighten up down here. So now we've got a flat surface that I can lay my material on and grind it. There you have it, a uh, grizzly iron belt sander.